Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC, and I'm back in a video. In this video, I'm going to be bringing to you guys a gameplay with the brand new throwback playoff moments Galaxy Opal Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Now, before I start off with the video, I do want to give a shout out to the homie King Jerk for letting me hop on a recording gameplay with his Opal Kareem guys. Link to his Twitter will be in the description. I ripped packs for Opal Kareem and I pulled four Galaxy Opal Steve Nash. So, I want to give a shout out to the homie King Jerk for letting me hop on, guys, and letting me record a gameplay with his Opal Kareem. So take a look at the screen, guys. We got six brand new throwback playoff moments cards, including a Galaxy Opal Cream Abdul Jabbar, Pink Diamond John Wall, Pink Diamond Michael Red, a Diamond Paul Millsap, an Amethyst John Starks, and a Ruby Steve Novak. Those are the six players that just came out today, the six cards. And we're gonna be getting gameplay with this Cream Abdul Jabbar in this video. So taking a look at this Opal Cream, guys. First and foremost, the card art on this man looks absolutely amazing. And I'm very, very excited to get into a gameplay with this card because Cream Abdul Jabbar every single year is one of the best centers in the game. And will he be the best center in the game this year? We'll definitely find out by getting some gameplay with this card. But first things first, we are gonna be going over the badges and attributes. So let's take a look at those guys. He comes with 20 total Hall of Fame badges, including brick wall, bruiser, chase on artist, rim protector, pickpocket, defensive stopper, difficult shots, pick and popper, Hustle Rebounder, Break Starter, Tyler Score, Up Under Specialist, Drop Stepper, Lob City Finisher, Post Riser, Post Bank Technician, Acrobat, Put Back King, Pick and Roller, Lennis Finisher, and that rounds off the 20 Hall of Fame badges. He also does come with 8 goals as well, including One Man Fast Break, Corner Specialist, Mid Range Dead Eye, Catch and Shoot, Limitless Range, he does not come with. Um, we applied this badge on him just for the fun of it. <laughs> he also does come with Gold, Flashy Passer, Pick Dodger, and Charge Card. Moving on to the attributes for this Opal Cream, guys. He comes with a 99 standing, a 98 driving layup, a 99 post hook, 98 post fadeaway, 99 post control. This card is literally insane so far. 97 mid range, 79 open shot three, and with that gold limitless range badge, we can knock down threes consistently. <laughs> 96 free throw, 99 standing, 98 driving, and a 98 contact dunk. 70 ball control, that is really, really generous for a center. 78 passing accuracy, 99 block, 99 shot contest, 97 steal, 99 defensive and offensive rebound, 92 speed, 77 speed with ball, 88 lateral quickness, 99 defensive, 99 offensive consistency, and 98 reaction time. I am completely blown away by these attributes. This is absolutely insane. There is not a single flaw in this Opal Cream. So without further ado, guys, let's take this Cream Abdul Jabbar in Unlimited and see what he's all about in a game not the best start from cream so far he got blocked a couple times by manute bull manute bull now has his rim protecting takeover it's gonna be very hard to score in the paint now with cream but it's all good we're gonna shake and bake him dish it down to him inside that's an easy two-handed duck nash to cream opals to opals that's what i love to see so after a block on a defensive end cream abdul jabbar has his takeovers for the first time in this ball game and the two that he has are rim protecting and glass cleaning we're gonna run a nice pick and fade right here hit him on the pop four three catch and shoot for kareem bang Cream 4-3, that's very, very weird to say because Cream never hit a three-point er, in his life. Or he made one, but still. A very generous three ball for Cream Abdul-Jabbar at like 79 open three. We're able to get that one to go. Good defense. No way. Cream sending that stuff out of bounds. Let's go, Cream Abdul-Jabbar. That's all Kareem right there. He's doing his thing early on. You know, he had a rough start, like I said, though. But ever since, you know, the rough start, ever since we bounced back from it, we haven't looked back. You know, he's doing his thing, cooking up. That's a great rotation and great defense on Manu Bowl. No way you're scoring on him protecting takeover. No way you're scoring on him. No way. No way. Not on him. Yeah. No way you're scoring on this Cream Up Dude's Bar with rim protecting takeover. That's a horrible pass by my opponent. We're going to take advantage of that as it is our ball right here. We're going to come down and I would like to work Cream in a post, but unfortunately he does not have post takeover. So let's try to work with Nash right here. Try to cross him up right here and dish it down to him in the paint. Yes, he is inside. That's a two-handed dunk for Kareem. So my opponent now has George Mikan into the ball game for the first time. We gotta take advantage of this matchup. We're gonna work it to Cream in the post. Sending a double team. Double team not gonna matter. We're spinning off and going all the way with the one-handed dunk. A double team will not stop this man. You gotta get somebody better on him because George Mikan is not gonna survive. I don't know how that almost went in. But we're gonna get the rebound. Kick it up to Cream Abdul Jabbar. Stop and pop with him. 4-3. And splash. Oh, I thought that was going in. I really did think that was going in. Rebound right there from Cream. He has five rebounds so far this game. He's gonna try and take it coast to coast. Oh my goodness, look at the speed with ball from this man. Hops him through the lane, going up in traffic. Nearly getting the air one. This Cream Abdul Jabbar is a beast. Going up on three people trying to foul. He's gonna be headed to the free throw line again for the second time this ball game. We're gonna make both of these. He has 96 rated free throw. The first one is good, and the second one is up and good as well. He has 17 points and five rebounds early on in the second quarter. Can I get that inbound steal? Almost did. No way that's going in. Let's go. Another rebound for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, giving him six for the game. And I have no idea how he dribbles off. 
<sighs> George McGinnis's feet. I have no idea how that happened in my opponent hitting three. That right there is definitely some cheese. But it's all right. We're on to the next play. I'm not worried about that. You got to just stay focused on the next play. There's four quarters of basketball. So I'm going to pick and roll right here between Nash and Kareem. He's going up top and slamming it home in the paint. Let's go, Kareem. Good defense from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar getting that steal. And let's pass it up to Steve Nash with that base eight. Oh, he's closing out. It's all good. We got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar running the floor. Going all the way right here. It's another two-handed easy basketball slam dunk in the paint. Let's run a pick and fade right here. Wait, he's sending a double team. We got Carmelo wide open in the corner. He's going to close out. Dish it inside to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I don't know what that is, but it goes in anyway. A lightly contested shot for Kareem in the paint. is real. It's just money. It's that easy. Good defense from CJ McCollum. Taking up to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. We're going to stop and pop this three from deep. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar knocks it down on the break. Giving him 28 points so far for the game and now seven rebounds. I'm not shooting the most efficiently from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Mainly because he started off the game like 2 of 9. But ever since then, guys, we've been shooting very efficiently. And just in general, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has been beasting ever since he got off that cold start. That's great defense from Karl Malone. Let's go, our defense is tremendous this ball game. No way, that's another on for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Activating his takeovers again, but it's, I believe, third or second time. I forgot, we're gonna go all the way right here. Getting a contact jam on Gilbert Arenas. Make that now 30 points for Opal Kareem. He right now is playing like he is the best center in the game. Good defense, red contest on Kevin Durant. <laughs> My opponent starts off this second half with the heavily contested jump shot and it goes in. It's all good though. We got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar attacking the paint strong and another foul is being drawn from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. This man has drawn so many fouls this ball game. Let's give it to him in the post right here on George Mikan. Let's let him work out right here. And sending a double team fine. We got Giannis in the corner catch and shoot for Giannis and that's a green light. You cannot double team this Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. We'll make you pay. You mad inbound steal. That's all mine. Come on. That's all mine. Come on 2K. That should have been mine. I think my opponent went into a zone. He did. So, yeah, we're going to destroy this zone. Danny Granger catching shoot wide open in the corner, and he missed it. But Kareem, though, beasting and feasting on the boards going up with this one. Again, that nice putback layup to go. Low Kree, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is on pace for triple-double. He now has 38 points, 9 rebounds, and 5 assists. Good boy right there from Giannis, and Kareem is gone out of there. Stopping and pulling it through on a fast break. Bang! I can't believe I just said that. Kareem stopping and pulling the three ball on the fast break. That is very wild to say. But yeah, guys, we now have a double-digit lead still maintaining it in this fourth quarter. That's not the best shot in the world. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar comes up with that boy, giving him his 10th of the game. Trying to go coast to coast all by himself. We're going to go all the way and miss that layup. That was a good take. We're going to try and look for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on the trail. 4-3, catch and shoot for Kareem on the line. And Kareem hits back-to-back -back threes. Make that 44 points now from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And I just can't believe what I'm saying. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for back-to-back -back threes. Gonna attack it right here, hit Kareem up top for a catch and shoot three ball. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, green! That's three three-pointers in a row for, for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in this fourth quarter. My opponent should have never went into the zone because we just keep finding the open man. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, I guess, is the open man. And he keeps making these threes. I love to see it. Good boy right there from Giannis. R1, L1 to Kareem down the court. What a nice pass. Let's give it to J.R. Smith for a nice mid-range. And that is good. Off of Kareem's assist. Way to share the ball. We're up by 15 points now with 2 minutes and 20 seconds left to go. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say, guys, that this is the ball game. That's a steal from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And we're going to give it to J.R. Smith. One more to Kareem. He's going all the way with the icing on the cake with the layup in the paint. That is good. And that is the icing on the cake. Now, no way my opponent is coming back in this ball game. Let's try and hit for Kareem for one more three-point before this game is over. And that's another green light for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. In this fourth quarter, Kareem is going insane. He's made four three-pointers and now has 52 total points. This card, without a doubt, guys, has to be the best center in the game. Is my opponent quitting the match? There's only... Yes, he did end up leaving the match. There was slightly under two minutes left to go, and now your opponent has left the match. GG's to him, guys. GG's to my opponent. He played a good one. But Kareem Abdul-Jabbar proved why he's the best center in the game and pretty much carried this victory for the squad. Moving on to the card review for this Opal Cream card, guys. I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. There's no question about it. At this stage in the game, guys, with 20 Hall of Fame badges and literally juiced up stats everywhere, this card is a 10 out of 10 card. And I truly believe that he is better than Galaxy Opal Will Chamberlain. I truly believe that he is right now the best center in NBA 2K19, my team. So there are two reasons why I think that this Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the best center in the game and is better than Gallus Gobo Will Chamberlain. The first reason why is that the attributes and badges are updated and he has more badges. There's no question that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has more badges than Opa Will Chamberlain, you know. He has 20, Kareem does, and Opa Will has like 16, I believe. And when it comes to the attributes, guys, 
Will Chamberlain's attributes were set back in September when the game first launched. This cream of Jujibar badges and attributes are now in May. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by that is that back in October when we got the pink diamond cream, that pink diamond cream had September and October attributes and stats. Now that we are in May, this opal cream has May attributes and May stats. Over the course of the year, guys, 2K just continuously juice up cards for no reason at all. You know, the pink diamond cream has like 20 or 35 open shot three. This galaxy opal now in May has juiced up stats and has 79 open shot three. What I mean by that is that the attributes for this cream I'm due to bar are updated and better than Will Chamberlain. So those are the two main reasons why I think that this cream of Jujabar is the best center in the game and is better than Galaxy of Bullet Chamberlain. If you can somehow get this cream of Jujabar for under 500,000 MT, that is such a major W. I don't think he'll fall for 500,000 MT. I think he'll stay around 700 to 800,000 MT, but that's just my guess. I ultimately don't know. I'm recording this video as soon as the pack is dropped, so I literally have no idea what the auction house is going to hold for this card, but I'm projecting that he is going to be around 700 to 800,000 MT. But if he does fall, you know, like cards do, because cards have a tendency to fall, in price, you know, Galaxy Opal's Kawhi is just 400,000 MT. If he's able to fall for around a price of 500,000 MT, that is such a major W for what this card could do. So yeah, guys, I pretty much wrapped up this video. I do want to give another shout out to the homie King Jerk for letting me hop on a recording gameplay with his Opal Cream, guys. Link to his Twitter will be in the description. Make sure you guys go check him out. If it wasn't for him, this video likely wouldn't be possible. He let me hop on a recording gameplay with his Opal Cream. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the love on the videos and every single day, the everyday support. I really do appreciate it. Now I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, it's YBC and I'm out. Peace.